Welcome to this episode of the Maximus Minute. And today I'm going to talk about the top three supplements that you can take. When it comes to the supplement industry, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of supplements that you can take. But there are some that are more effective than others. And these are three that I recommend to every single person that I train. Here's the deal. I'm not into throwing a bunch of money away. I am only into using things that are actually effective and that are going to affect a positive change in my body. And so with that in mind, we're going to start with supplement number one, a really good multivitamin. This multivitamin is called Microfactor, and it's not just a multivitamin. It's got a bunch of stuff in here that I'm going to read to you right now. It's got an antioxidant. That's really, really useful. When your body is working hard, it's under a bunch of oxidative stress antioxidants will help mop up something called free radicals without getting into the whole science of it. They're a bad byproduct of exercise that damage your cells. Antioxidants can help take care of those. EFAs, essential fatty acids, uh, stuff like fish oil can really, really help with your cardiovascular system. It can help with your heart. It can also help with brain function and systemic inflammation. Again, the byproduct of working out, the byproduct of putting yourself under stress is inflammation and EFAs will help take care of that. We've got some coenzyme Q10, uh, really important in a bunch of bodily functions, especially hormone production. So get your coenzyme Q10. It's got a fruit and veggies capsule. Here's the deal. The way fruits and veggies are produced now, the way we uh, overwork the soil, the way stuff is mass produced, uh, the, the, some of the vitamins or some of the uh, fruits and vegetables that we have are devoid of minerals. I shouldn't say devoid. They just have less than they should. So I like a fruit and veggie supplement as a, uh, we're going to call it nutritional insurance. It's got a probiotic for gut health. Gut health is super important. There's a huge link between gut health and brain health. Actually, gut health in almost every form of health. So look after your gut. And then there is that multivitamin. I look at the multivitamin as not a cure, but again, just nutritional insurance because a lot of our food these days is not taken care of the way it should. A little bit more on that with the soil. Like I make my own compost. I have organic garden boxes. That's not what you're getting when you buy your tomatoes at Walmart. So again, high-end multivitamin. Number two. A good protein powder. Uh, for a protein powder to be good, uh, number one, I want it to be uh, processed at a low temperature. Uh, I want you to think of it like this. If it's processed at a low temperature, you can consume it, you can use it, the protein's not destroyed. Here's the deal though. When stuff's produced at a low temperature, it takes a long, long time to make. So that protein powder is generally a little bit more expensive. Uh, this stuff is not cheap. Uh, it's a brand called First Form, but it is produced at a low temperature, so it's good quality protein. You get the stuff that's produced at a high temperature, uh, and it's it's pretty much garbage, like it's burned protein. Um, think about it like this. If you're going to cook a chicken breast low and slow at 165 degrees, it takes hours and hours and hours, right? If you're going to throw that thing in the middle of a fire, well, sure, it's going to cook in two seconds, but it's going to be burnt to a crisp. That's not what you want to put in your body. So first of all, get yourself a really good protein. I prefer whey over anything else because it has the best amino acid profile. Uh, profile uh, a protein from whey is going to have a complete protein profile, whereas like stuff from, you know, vegan sources is not. And so vegans, that's why generally they're deficient in protein. But I digress. Get yourself a good protein. How much protein should you eat a gram per pound of body weight a day? So if you're 150 pounds, you need 150 grams of protein. If you're 200 pounds, you need 200 grams of protein. If you're 240 like me, you need 240 grams. That's really, really hard to get through real food. Like it's a really, really difficult. So a protein powder will help. Uh, I'm having a couple of shakes a day. Uh, I have one in the morning. I have one post-workout and it really helps me get to my protein goals. So protein. Final supplement, creatine. Uh, now, creatine is not just for bodybuilders. Uh, a couple of things about creatine. Number one, it's the most studied supplement in the world. Uh, number two, it is completely 100% safe. And number three, it's frankly, it's really, really cheap. So there's no reason for you not to take it. Uh, how does creatine work? Well, a couple of ways. First of all, is it'll keep your, your muscles hydrated. A hydrated muscle works better and is happier muscle. But number two, uh, your cells run on this stuff called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Uh, it's a fuel your cells use uh, for energy. Well, 
Creatine is used in the production of ATP. The more creatine that you have, and again, I'm dumbing down the science because I don't want to confuse anybody. The more creatine you have in your system, the easier it is to make ATP. You have more energy. And so how creatine would really work is if I was to explain this to you in really simple terms, instead of being able to do six heavy lifts, you can do eight heavy lifts. Instead of being able to do 10 reps, you can do 12 reps. Well, over time, that really, really adds up. Think about getting an extra 10% every single workout, 300 days a year. Your gains will go through the roof. Like 10% is a lot. So creatine will make you stronger. It will make you bigger. Uh, it will help accelerate your gains. And again, it's dirt cheap. So uh, in review, those are my top three supplements that I recommend to everybody. Uh, a really good multivitamin. Um, I threw the protein thing a across the room. So a really good protein powder and then a really good creatine. Those are my top three. Uh, let me know in the comments what your top three are or what your go-to supplements are. And of course, subscribe for more content like this. My mission is to just provide you real fitness advice, not overwhelming you with science. I don't want to, you know, go over a, a textbook. I don't want to try and trick you. I don't want you to sell you, I'll sell you on any fads. Like literally, I just want to give you real advice so you can watch these quick videos and then go do something to help yourself and be the best you that you can be.